Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be modding the Eoshin VR D3 as you can tell it's right here. It's already been taken apart. I have been playing with it a little just to see how well the internals are and it's pretty good but I see in longer range you might get a small, it won't perform as good as other goggles. And why do I say that? It's because of the antenna route here. This, this little line right there can also act as an antenna thus kind of ruining the whole, you know, if you had a patch antenna here, I would, I would totally recommend you set up patch antenna on this side and on this side you were to set up uh, just you know your regular mushroom type antenna and this thing does come with both antennas the uh, screen quality isn't that great um, but for 50 bucks I don't think there's anything better for 50 bucks currently uh, but if you were to if you are looking for a cheap alternative or a cheap uh, goggle that's pretty decent I would highly recommend the Eoshin EV800 D's those are really good goggles. The screen's a lot better, it's a lot bigger, and this screen's a lot smaller. You might think it's better, but actually it was not actually better. What they tried to do here was kind of mimic the Fat Shark experience, kind of, but it just didn't work out that way. That's what it seemed like to me. And um, you can fly with this, but hitting gates is, and gaps is gonna be quite challenging because you don't really get that full resolution and just the colors aren't really that nice. Now, that being said, let's move on and let's just start modding this thing. So before modding this thing, you have to go watch my the VR006 modding video because I created this PCB and what we're going to need is we're going to need a step up voltage relay. This will step up the battery voltage to 5 volts in order to power any Fat Shark module because they do take 5 volts. So if you've missed that video, go check it out. I'll have it in the exact timestamp when I start making this board. All this does is it takes the uh, battery voltage and it outputs it into 5 volts and we also take a video line to the from the Fat Shark down to the goggles. So it's just very simple. This will provide power and take the video so we can pipe it down into this guy here. And uh, if we take a closer look, just to get a little bit more in depth, VI is the voltage in, as you can tell right there. So this is VI. This is where the battery would come in, the battery voltage. Ground, I'd highly recommend you run two grounds, one from the battery that's coming in, and one that's going to be going out to the uh, Fat Shark module. VO is voltage out, so that will be the 5 volts going to your Fat Shark module. And then uh, video would just be anywhere you wanted to. And if you take a look here, if you take a look at the back of a Fat Shark module and you don't know the pinouts. Now, luckily, this one just tells me exactly what pin is what, but I'm going to show you how to figure out which pin is where so you don't burn this while you're making it. So let's go ahead and take a closer look here. All right, so what you want to do first is you want to get some kind of a multimeter so you can go into continuity check. And as you can tell, we have the third pin is ground. Now, this is going to be your reference pin for everything else because once you find that, then you go uh, the closest top pin is going to be VCC 5 volts. So let's just go ahead and set this up into continuity mode. And I'm just bringing in my multimeter. So what you want to do is, for example, I'm just going to show you this one since it's pretty obvious because everything is labeled here. So if we take a closer look, we see that the third pin is ground. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up right here. And I'm going to touch the back of this. And if that beeps, that's ground. So if that's ground, that's going to mean this is 5 volts. The closest pin to it on the top is going to be 5 volts. And if we go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's going to be our video because um, it's just that's how it is. B1, 2, or B0, 1, 2, 3, these are for the channels. So if something can was able to control this through SPI, you'd be able to do that. But I don't want to get too far into this and kind of lose you. So here's another example. Here's another Fat Shark module. This has no labeling, and I have no idea which side is the right side up, and I'm afraid to burn it. So what you do is you bring it, you touch you know, the shielding here, or if you don't know the shielding, just touch the outside of the SMA here because that's also ground. Make sure you're in continuity mode, and then we're going to hold it, and we're just going to come down these. Okay, so that's, again, this one is going, the third one is ground, so that means the top one is 5 volts. And if we go to the opposite side, we have for, you know, this is to control the channels. There's three pins. So we go one, two, three. So those control the channels. And then the one right above it is the video. So that would be the video output that's going to be needed. So this way, you know, which one's which when you are going to be inserting it into this board, as you can tell here, VCC and ground. And uh, when we tested it, it was like so. So we would have to set this up like this. And again, let's test it together. So as you can tell. Uh, this would be VCC. Third one's going to be ground. That's going to be video. Let's do it one more time. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm touching ground. Make sure everything's working. All right. Let's find ground now. So as you can tell, it's not it's not the third one here anymore because I flipped it actually. 
So there is our ground. So that would be ground. And then this would be our five volts, which would be right there. And then our video is going to be the uh, fourth one from the other side. So if we just bring this over, cause this is correct and we'll be able to put it in. So make sure you get this right and you understand the pin out. They're all exactly the same. And this is the way to figure out which pin is which. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this now. And uh, the way this is actually working is I have the power right here. So if you've missed how I've set this up, you can just go ahead and visit my VR006. So the VI again is the voltage coming in from the battery. The middle one is ground for both the output and the input from the battery. And the VO is the five volt that's gonna go into the Fat Shark module because this need, again, these need five volts and this goggle is using a 1S LiPo, which is below five volts. So this will boost up the voltage up to five volts enable to enable the Fat Shark module to actually work. So let's get started here now if we take a look at the bottom i have the ground and the positive now both of these are red just ignore that so we're going to go ahead and fi figure out where we're going to set these up now there's a lot of places where you can set this up we can take it directly from the battery port this is where the battery actually connects but if you do that um, the module will always be powered on unless you remove it but a lot of people complain that they want it to boot up once you press the button so the way we're going to take it is we're going to take the voltage, the uh, battery voltage, because this is very strange because these receivers are actually not taking 5 volts. They're taking uh, the raw battery volt voltage from the receiver's port here, which is it's getting it from right there. And we're just going to ground it from anywhere. And uh, this was ground here, if I remember correctly. So we're going to ground it here. This is going to be the power and ground going into our voltage uh, uh, step up converter, kind of. This is a, a boosting converter, this one. So it'll boost up our voltage. So let's do that right now. So here we have the red wire, as you can tell. So that's going to be the, the battery voltage. And we're going to steal the battery voltage from this pin right here. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, which is the fifth pin up. And I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, I'm just double checking because it's very far away from me. Okay, nothing's touching. Okay, so now we just gave it the battery voltage, basically. And again, the reason why I'm giving it battery voltage from here is because this is passing through the internal circuit. So once you power it on, it'll also power on the, the Fast Shark module. If we took it directly from the battery, you won't be able to power it off unless you just unplug it. So this is a better route. Now we're going to need the ground. So as you can tell here, now we're going to need the ground wire. And the ground wire, I'm going to set up right there on that pad right here. So there we go going to give it ground here. So now we just gave it ground. So and again, just to repeat, uh, we just gave power to the step up converter. And now theoretically, if we bring in our battery, I think the battery is basically dead right now. But if we bring in our battery, give this whole board power. And we're going to bring in our uh, fast track module here. Hopefully I'm putting this in correctly. And what I'm going to do now, now theoretically, this should have power here. So if I boot up the whole screen then uh or the whole goggle itself here then that should power up as well so let's just see here yeah as you can tell everything is powered up here perfect so now we have everything correct now it's time for the video input now there's a lot of ways we can actually do this what we can do is remove the two receivers which is the very difficult route and we kind of really don't want to do that because maybe someday you want to sell this thing so instead what we're going to do is we're going to do just a simple little hack that we're going to take control of the or take advantage of how the DVR is actually connected here. Now the DVR is really nice. One important thing that I tested was that it has an LED notif indication that you're recording. So that is a huge plus because we will n not be able to access the DVR screen anymore. Now you can do that with a switch, but that's for another video and people who know what they're doing will know what to do there uh, or figure that out by themselves. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the DVR here. Now. You know, I wish in the beginning I actually took a look on the backside because before I was actually using my oscilloscope to probe all these to figure everything out. But then again, I should have just flipped this guy over and it has all the writing on there. So as we can tell here, we have VCC and 5 volt. Perfect. So we're just gonna we're not gonna touch those. That's how this thing is being powered up. It's the bottom two uh, wires here. So those are VCC and 5 volt. Now these are the the middle two are the ones that we're gonna need. Forget this top one. This top one is audio currently. These two are what we are going to need. So we have video out and video in. Video out is outputting the DVR screen so you can watch your playback. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the video out. 
and we're gonna pipe our Fatshark modules video input into it. And then once we do that, there's also a video in. Now the video in is very important because that will also allow us to record the video feed from the Fatshark module. So what we're gonna do is we are going to install the video wire from the Fatshark module to the one that's going up here and the one that's gonna be going down there. And you'll see what I mean right now. So let's start with the video out. So we're gonna cut this just halfway through because if you ever wanted to sell this, then uh, you can just always uh, put these wires back together. So we're just gonna cut this and I ruined this cutter here, but that's fine. And we're also gonna cut the other wire. All right, so right now we've gone ahead and cut the video in and the video out. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to find the video out wire here, which is the, the one that's going into the main board. And we're gonna just push this one to the side because we're not gonna need anything because this is video out. So we're gonna need this wire here. So let's go ahead and strip this wire. All right, so once that's done, I'm gonna bring in this little JST type connector because I'm just gonna control connect it directly to my main board here, just right there because this is my video that's coming out from the Fastrack module and this is going to be piped through this wire here. So this was the video out. So it was video output to this board, which would be a video input. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the uh, Fat Shark modules video into the video input of the board here. And the way we do that is we just put these wires together and that's it. Now, as you can tell, these two wires are still, the video in and the video out are not connected anywhere. And this one is not connected anywhere, which is uh, the second wire up here. Now, what we wanna do now is we need to find the um, video in, which is the top one right here. And this one's gonna be connected with this also. So let's go ahead and set that up as well. And now like this, we should be able to record only from the Fatshark module. So we still have DVR function with the Fatshark module because that's something a lot of people always want here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and solder these wires up. So now we're good to go. Now let's just take another just look here. So if we take a look at the DVR module here, this is not going to be connected anywhere anymore. This is gonna just stay here if you wanted to return it to the state it was before. So this was the video output that it was outputting into the goggle. And uh, we don't need this to output anything to the goggle. So this is not connected anymore. All we need the DVR function to do now is just to receive our video input from the Fat Shark module so it could record. And if we take a look here, uh, if we the bottom two are the video and I mean the uh, voltage and ground or yeah the power basically the third one up is the video input so this is considered like an AV input right here and this one here is just another output uh, that was outputting the video from these two into the DVR so we can record however we don't need it to do that anymore and uh, this is why we're not going to be connecting neither this one or this one these will just stay floating and I highly recommend you add some tape or some heat shrink so the exposed wire inside doesn't touch anything. All right, so now let's go ahead and bring in the module and let's connect this guy and theoretically everything should work just beautiful. I don't think I'm missing anything, okay? So just before we do that actually, so here's that yellow wire that's for the video and this is taking the video from the Fat Shark module into these two pins right here and I've just cut this uh, uh, servo type connector just to fit in that little hole right here. Okay, and I think that's gotten a good grip here. All right. Let's bring in our module. Make sure nothing is touching or about to short out. Okay, so that's connected. And let's bring in our battery now. Make sure this doesn't short or touch anything out. So I'm bringing in the battery here. Okay, battery installed. Okay, and now moment of truth. Let's go ahead and power this guy up. Okay, so in the beginning, what you do is, this is currently the video feed that's coming from the internal receivers. And the way to change that is you need to access now the DVR menu here. So let me just bring this into focus so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm actually gonna use a different module because this one just always needs calibration. It's really annoying sometimes. Okay, so currently our battery is dead because I didn't charge it. And also these do take a bit more power because both of them, both like you have two receivers here and two receivers here pulling power now. 
So we have to just uh, keep that in mind and we might need a battery mod for this or just stick a power bank into it and you're good to go. So let's move everything to the side here. And now we have the Fat Shark module running, as you can tell. And the screen is currently working on the internal receivers. Now, in order for us to change it, what we need to do is we need to go to the menu here. So once we get into the menu, we need to find input where it says AV and DVR. We have to do that again. And we need to switch to DVR mode. So we just switch over to DVR mode. Now you get a black screen. That's totally fine because this is the way this input is running. If this is get, giving this static, then you won't get anything. So let's go ahead and actually plug in a quadcopter so we can see everything. Okay. So I've gone ahead and plugged in a quadcopter and we're gonna go ahead and scan with this guy, which is the uh, Fat Shark module. So we're going to do auto search. And as you can tell, we just got our video feed. Now, if I were to switch with this, we should also lose our video feed, as you can tell. So now we have a running Fat Shark module on this because this is an auto search currently. And uh, here we go. And if I remove the whole module, we should get a black screen. Boom. There we go. And now I'm going to plug in the module. Hopefully it remembered the same channel. If it did, then we're immediately going to get a video feed here. And I don't think it did. So we're just going to go again into search. There we go. We have a video feed. So this is how to set this up. Now there's many ways to finish the execution of this. I highly recommend you just follow and do it the same way I did on my uh, Eashin VR006, which I'll have the video link down below. And everything you're going to need here will be also linked down below, as well as the 3D printed files. Uh, if you check that video out, you'll know how the execution will be, and it'll just fit exactly the same way. So all you need to take from the board here are just the ground and the positive, which this was the ground here, and that was the positive. Give it to the voltage, uh, uh, the boosting converter here. And this will boost up your voltage from the battery to give this power. And then you're just going to need the video uh, to input it into this board here in which we... Yeah, and we just take we just took full advantage of the DVR here. All right, guys. So, and this is how you mod your VR D3 or Eashin VR D3 to take Fat Shark modules. This will take anything. 2.4 gigahertz Rapid Fire, I think, also will be compatible. Just about any Fat Shark module your heart desires, you can do that here. However, you don't forget your battery will be sucked dry. So you need a bigger battery because you have both of them working. Now, if you wanted to save battery, then you would have to pop these two off here because they are also sucking up a lot of juice. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everything is linked down below. If you go ahead and check those out, it was a great support channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.